Hello and welcome guys to my 5 minutes aviation explanation video. So today's topic, as you probably see already in the title, how to become a pilot or how did I become a pilot? You just send a simple application, there have to be a CV with all things what you previously did, so where you worked, where you went to school, of course your school or high school or university diploma. There have to be a motivation letter, so why do I want to become a pilot? So write just a letter in simple words where you write down why you are the right person to become a pilot and additional stuff. Like me, I was responsible in the school for the first aid service and in the summer holidays I was working as a lifeguard. So if you have certifications of that, put it in, it's only good for you. That's actually the easiest thing. There are a lot of pages online where you can check where you can currently apply. First of all, and I'm not sponsored by this page, but I love that page. There's a link down below in the description. It's latest pilot jobs. And doesn't matter if you want to become a pilot or you are already a pilot and you are just searching a place where to work, then this is obviously the best page, I think. Of course, you can apply directly for an airline, for a specific airline, like Lufthansa, Air Baltic, Emirates, they all have their own um, cadet trainings. And second of all, a fly school like me, like I did. And uh, if you just want to fly private or you want to fly gliders, of course, you can apply in the local flight club. So for me, the interview and the selection process was actually the scariest part ever. But after I did it, it was actually not. So what you have to do in the interview? You go to the specific airline, to the flight school and start with a profile test. The profile test, there are like simple questions about your person. Your person, how you react to some situations. So the only thing what I can tell you, be honest. There's a compass test. The compass test includes like basic math and physics questions. And in the end, there's like a personal interview. We were speaking like 30 minutes about some things, how I see some things, how I react to some things. And she tried to figure out if you are the right person to become a pilot. So if this is everything successful, you can start your ground school. You have 14 subjects in the school and you have to pass twice the exams. So this is how my flight school is doing it. After each subject, you have to pass an exam in the school. After you pass it in the school, you can go to the CA. At the CA, you pass then your official exams. But you have some really easy subjects and you have some very hard subjects. But it's just my list, so it depends on you. And then after you finish finally your ground school, you pass all the exams in the school, in TCA, then you're still flying. So there you have like three parts. You have the visual part, you have the IFR, so the instrumental flying part, and you have the multi-engine. For me now, I'm at the beginning of the IFR part, so I'm actually close to the end of my training. So I have to fly 70 hours on the Cessna 172 to do my IFR. Then I will jump over to the Tecna multi-engine. I will fly my multi-engine and I will get a license. Of course, in this five minutes explanations and just an overview. I will do other videos as well where I go deeper into the topic, how you can prepare, especially for the compass test, for the profile XT test maybe some tips for in the ground school. And of course, I will show you on the other playlist, as you see here, 
my flight experience in Spain. So I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to my channel, leave me some comments about some things you want to know. I will make a video about it. So stay tuned, leave me a thumbs up and see you.